Welcome back to 3 News uh, First Edition on this Thursday. We want to make sure you feel safe with facts and not fear as we battle this coronavirus pandemic together. Hey, that's right, Barbie. And we have uh, Dr. Salim Sarani joining us once again. We've been answering zip whip questions all morning long. Uh, you've had the pleasure of uh, talking with Sarani about that, Dr. Sarani. And uh, Dr. Sarani, we have another question coming in right now from one of our viewers. It says, I'm 72 and I have COPD. Do I have to worry about a walk outside of my neighborhood? You know, if you have a COPD, you don't have to worry about walking outside, but you have to take an extra precaution if you know that somebody has a COVID. 19 or somebody who may be infected, just like you do it for any other infection. Because when you have a COPD, the lungs are bad, and you know that this COVID attacks the lung more than any other organ. Dr. Srani, how long does COVID-19 last in someone's body? Uh, can you repeat it, Barbie? Yes. How long does COVID-19 last in someone's body? Well, that all depends on your immunity. For example, uh, if the COVID-19 comes in, the, it's considered by the body as the antigen. And what happens is that the body develops antibody and destroys it, and the get, person gets cured. So if you're younger and if you have very good immunity, you get recovered very fast. But if you're older or sometimes even in some young patient, when the load of those virus is very high, it causes destruction of your organs. And that's where you become sick. So that is the time where we try different uh, supportive care and the therapy. And if you improve, then once you are getting better, the fever is gone, all the other systems are better, uh, more than likely your infection is better. The way we check it according to the CDC and Chinese guideline is we repeat the test two times 24 hours apart. And if your cultures are negative, then you're considered that uh, you are cured. On the other hand, there's a, one paper which may be coming out tomorrow which says that the COVID-19 or the coronavirus is uh, in your stool form even when your respiratory system is negative. So it all depends on how you do. If you're young, you take care of the problem quickly, or if you have immunocompromised, or if you're very sick, it can last longer till you heal. Dr. Sarani, we have uh, time for one more question. Someone's asking, why are we not testing people that are just walking through the grocery stores, restaurants, first responders, et cetera? Shouldn't that be mandatory? You know, what you are asking is a widespread community surveillance. And that usually you do is when you have a very high community spread. So if you look in uh, New York City, that makes sense because a lot of the folks may be having it. But what you do is when the tests are limitation, limited, you try to use it where you get the most for your buck. So example, if someone is having symptoms or someone is having around contact, you do the testing and let's say four out of uh, 10 come back positive. You take those four, you isolate them, you check their contact, isolate them. That is how you prevent. But if you're going in an area where there is a very low community transmission, you may getting one or two out of 100 positive. So your yield is very low. So you try to maximize uh, the, uh, you know, what can give you the maximum return. Thank you very much, Dr. Sarani. You're welcome. You can still send us your questions on ZipWeb 855-6397. We will continue to keep you informed here on 3 News First Edition.